Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today I'm bringing you a very special video. I actually adopted a little girl. Yes, we have a little girl in the family. Not a human baby, but actually a dog. We have a little greyhound and she is gorgeous. She is really a great addition to the family. She's actually a giveaway. She's an ex-brood bitch, which means essentially she was just used for pumping out puppies her whole life. Um, she's four and a half years old. She's been debarked, which means someone's like screwed with her vocal cords so she can't communicate properly now, can't express herself, which is very cruel. But I'm just hoping to give her, that we can give her a, a better life. And I'm just in love already. She's so gorgeous. And even though I haven't been able to touch her, I just feel the bond growing between us. And, you know, she's really frightened. She's very, very timid and very frightened. So we can't actually take her for a walk yet. And I really want to take her for a walk because she's got a lot of pent up energy. But that's going to come in time. At the moment, we're just letting her come up to us and smell us and just get used to being around us. So I wanted to share with you her progress. And yeah, and just also keep you updated on her progress throughout our time together. So enjoy. Everybody meet Figsy. Here we have the star of the show, Figsy. She's going to smell my feet. I'm like, oh, what pongs? What stinks? <laughs> so she has to, you know, get to know our scent. And I've got this, I'm in this position with, you know, facing down with my face away from her, not looking at her, just so she feels more comfortable that she can, so she can approach me and smell me. Less threatening. And now she's coming out and she's spot, she spotted Harley actually. She spotted Juno and she's like, oh, he's big. Look at him. So she's bracing herself there going, oh, I don't know about this. She's like, no, I don't want any of that. I don't want to be part of this. But she's very curious and she is coming back. Yeah, check things out. So we're just taking it slow with her, you know, just letting her smell us, get used to our scent and not, you know, imposing ourselves on her. We've also got a little crate for her where she feels really safe. Now she's actually barking. <laughs> well, poor little thing. She's been debarked, so the bark is kind of like a puppy. So she's just saying, who are you? I'm not sure. I want to be friends, but I'm not sure. So another foot smell, another smell of the paws. Ears back. She's a little bit, a little bit shy. Ooh, coming through again. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of, I'm not sure about these two. But she wants to be friends, you can tell, she really wants to be friends. Yeah, she's just looking at Harley again, a little bit of a woof. A little bit of woof, woof. Now coming a little bit closer, which is great to see. You know, she's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. You know, it's only been a week or so that we've had her. And yeah, look at this. Hello, gorgeous. Look how close she is. She's like, oh, you smell like fruit. That's it. And there's some great progress for first week. Go fruit yourself.